So how does that work around API security? Ah, so API security, this one is when it comes to entity versus transaction, why you need, why you would need both, right? I would say it's a step more dangerous than WAF because for an application, because when it comes to application, let's take cross-site scripting as an example. If you go to Facebook and you see a post, right? Like there's a picture and someone writes a comment there, but there are, there is a way where you can write in a comment where it looks like script. And depending on how this web page is formatted, the back end engine of it could interpret your comment as code rather than a comment. So, but, but this is a little different from APIs because when it comes to WAP, you're looking at a web page. Therefore, there's a limitation to how backdoor it can get into the actual internal systems of, for example, Facebook. But APIs, it becomes more dangerous because APIs are application programming interfaces. It's the same idea. For APIs, there's so many transactions happening and APIs have so many privileges because of what they're able to, what they should be doing, that a lot of transactions are going to look legitimate, but they actually have malicious intentions. Therefore, if you tack an entity-based tracking, not only are you able, you're able to get this extra factor to consider, and it's, it's that way even if things happen, you have a better chance of stopping them and detecting them.